Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy DJ Roxy and I'm in the studio here doing a comparison between the legendary Technique 1200 versus the Staten 150. I'm currently the owner of these decks so I'm gonna do an honest comparison between these decks on the downs and ups. First I'd like to start off with saying that these are legendary turntables used by most DJs around the world up to today's date. You know, um, these are the Technique 1200 Mac 2 which came out in 1979 if I'm not mistaken. Um, and a lot of those great turntables that are out right now after that you know, bite off a lot of their technology, a lot of the techniques, design, you know, but um, also they improve with time. So uh, we're gonna do a little comparison between these and you will see where uh, the statins are, are better or are lacking when it comes to the Techniques 1200. So I'm gonna plug one of these bad boys out so I can plug in my Staten 150 and get the comparison rolling. So stay tuned. Right now that we have the two decks uh, installed, we're gonna start with the comparison. Comparison number one on the ups of the Staten 150 is that on the 150, you have your power cable that can be detached. You also have your RCA that can be detached as well. Um, which, if you know about the techniques, you know you can't do that out the box with the techniques. Not saying that you can't do it. But you need to do the, your own upgrade in order for you to do that. You know, where you can detach your, your power cable or, you know, your, your RCA cables. And for me as a technician, I can tell you, sometimes it can be a real pain in the ass um, to, to connect all these RCA, you know, buses. If you have the Staten 150, you can just connect any RCA wire, RCA to RCA, and you're good to go. You don't have to go inside the turntable, which for me, if you're doing a live gig or you're doing a gig and your RCA uh, fails, then you will be in trouble. Because um, I know you wouldn't have the time if you're doing a gig to go and sort out an RCA wire inside of a technique. So this is something great that uh, the 150 uh, have in comparison to the Technique 1200. Um, Another comparison that is really matter a lot to me is that uh, you have all your controls right on top uh, versus your Technic 1200. You have absolutely no control over how much uh, on your pitch adjusts if you want to lock it in from, you know, select from 8, 25, or 50. Um, this doesn't have that. This only go up to 8 plus. I mean you do can go to like 12 but you have to do adjustment inside of the turntable which a lot of DJs out there don't even know how to do that. You know so it's not something that's right here. I can just press this button and I will be on 8, 25 or 50. That's a big plus you know. Your brakes. You got your brake and your start right on top where you can control when to start, how to start, how fast you want it to start. You can do that when it comes, I wouldn't say you can do that when it comes to the techniques but you have to go inside to adjust your brake, you know. So it can be a real hassle if you're trying to do something quick, you can't on the Technique 1200. Versus if I'm trying to, you know, do a quick break, I can just, you know, press these little button right here and um, I will be good to go. So that's one great comparison about the Staten over the 150, uh, over the Technic 1200. Um, another comparison that I would say uh, on the Technic 1200, apart from being legendary and that it's a classic, I mean, it's, it's an awesome machine. And like I said, 
all of these turntables, the newer turntables, is just a bite off, in my opinion, is a bite off of the Staton, of the Technics 1200. Because um, the technology and the Technics 1200 was way advanced, was way, you know, beyond its time. So, um, it's a great turntable. I would like to say that one good feature that I like um, of oh, having the Technics 1200 is that I can put my Dysos in the hole that they have provided right here, you know. This is awesome. I know this this hole was, was meant for the 45 adapter, but you know, uh, thanks to Novation that made this, the, the Dysos right exactly in that hole, which is something that you cannot put your Dysos in the Staten 150 because they have two start and stop button which for me I understand that's their design but for me if I had to design this I would never put this extra one right here I don't need it when it's you know they both close enough to my hands so I don't know why they put that extra one so um, that's a for starting um, one great comparison where I'm gonna tell you from now is your your torque <laughs> you know the difference is big it's a big difference when it comes to the torque of these two turntables the torque on the Staten 150 is a lot stronger than most of all the industry standard turntables out there um, I mean for its time it was a great turntable, it is a great turntable, but when it comes to the stock, it's still lacking a lot compared to this. I mean, if you're used to using the, uh, your Technics 1200, it kind of don't be a problem in a way, but if you are transitioning from using, one day you're using a Staten, and one day you're using a Technics 1200, you can notice the difference. Like, I can notice it's different because, you know, sometimes I can decide, um, well, I'm going to use my Saturn and sometimes I'm going to decide well, I'm going to use my uh, Technics 1200. Um, weight is a main factor. Right when I thought that Technics 1200 was the heaviest thing ever in this world, when I started the DJ, not until I was introduced to the Saturn 150. This is like a truck. This thing is it's very heavy, you know, very, very heavy. So, um... I gotta say it's about at least 10 pounds more than the technique so putting in bad boys in the case you will know how much weight you're gonna be lifting I mean you probably wouldn't even have to go to the gym um, that's about it I mean I don't want to make the video too long uh, another great I will say before I leave is um, another great uh, factor out there about the Staten 150 is that you have your your LEDs are blue you know they have more of a newer look but of course they are newer so they're gonna look newer um, versus all these Technics 1200 you have to upgrade your LEDs if you want them to be white blue colors or whatever the case might be so thank everybody for watching stay tuned for more and more videos and how to do it on your own so you don't have to pay no one to do it for you and also comparison videos between um, different type of DJ equipment uh, different technology and peace out DJ Rocks